Today I'm going to be showing you my three favorite lenses for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I get this question pretty frequently, so I thought I would shed some light on the lenses that I like to use specifically for this camera. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the three lenses from two different companies that I like to use to, for this camera professionally and personally. The first lens is the one that most people love for this camera. It's the Panasonic 12-35 f2.8 V1 uh, with OIS. Uh, it stays on my camera about 75% of the time and I personally love this lens just as well and I see why everyone uses it. For about $500 you can get an effective 24-70 f2.8 with OIS. The main reason that I purchased this lens was for its focal range. Uh, the effective 24 to 70 is really nice to have and its constant f2.8 aperture makes it decent in low light and it gives you a decent shallow depth of field. Finally, for its small size and the OIS, which obviously this camera lacks. This lens has been by far my favorite lens for this camera and I really can't recommend it enough. The next lens I want to mention is the Rokinon 85mm T1.5 Cine DS lens. For about $275, you can get this extremely soft and bloomy cinema lens. I don't use this lens too often, but I'm very glad that I have it for when I might need it. You get about 170 millimeter focal length with this lens, which is a great length uh, for long shots of something like wildlife or just something you can't get close to. The only con with this lens is that it's pretty cheaply built. Um, the aperture ring on mine is slipping a little bit, which isn't a big deal. You know, all I have to do is open it back up. But in the middle of a shot that you can only get one time, uh, that might be a little frustrating, but for $275, I think it's a great lens to have um, just at all times. The final lens that I want to mention is the Panasonic 25mm f1.7. This is a cheap and great lens for interviews and portraits. With this lens, you get about a 50mm. Um, it's definitely built cheaply, but for about $150, you can't beat the amazing low light capabilities and the exceptional bokeh that comes out of this lens. Despite its cheap build, its small size and super smooth focus ring makes it one of my favorites as well. I just recently got the 25 millimeter f1.7 lens um, and it's actually what's filming me right now. Uh, so I haven't gotten to test it that much, but I can already tell that it's a really great lens. Um, and despite its cheap build, I think it's gonna be a really great addition to have uh, for things like interviews and portraits. So those are my three favorite lenses for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Um, let me know what you think of these lenses, if you use them or not, if you are planning on getting them. Uh, feel free to drop a comment or about any other lenses that you might use for this. I know a lot of people use the uh, Sigma 18-35 for this camera, which is a pretty great lens that I've, ever, I've never actually used, uh, but would like to try it out. Um, but like I said, leave a comment and thanks for watching.